My name is Irko. I'm the music industry most beloved bow tie wearing mixing engineer. I opened my first studio in 98. And in 98, you better believe Pro Tools was right in front of my eyes and it still is. So I think it's like the graphics of it has probably been ingrained in my, in my eyes. My work has been married to that system for so many years that there is no distinction between listening to some sound or like thinking of an EQ or a balance or an automation and not think Pro Tools. That is one of the same. It's the same thing for me. Before I mix any song, I get familiar with how the song has been produced, recorded, written. That's where the flow starts. At first, it's like we got to get to know one another and then we understand each other. And then, okay, now it's, it's in a good spot. It doesn't really matter what people use to produce, according to me, as long as we can get it eventually to Pro Tools where I can do my thing. There's a number of reasons why Pro Tools is the standard for production in audio. It's given me the ability of visualizing things, having the control that I need on mixing to see and be able to manipulate every single aspect of the song. And, you know, especially for a control freak like me, I need it. You know, mixing is all about control. More than anything is the preciseness. Uh, if I want to put something, busting, audio, edits, whatever, under a microscope, I can do that. Like, I mean, I don't even have to think, you know, I just go to the shortcut and boom, it's done. It's in front of me. Some of the plugins that I use on every one of my sessions will be lo-fi, most definitely. 808s, low end in general, I use that all the time. I use the EQ7, the D-verb. D-verb is a mean reverb, man. And people sleep on that, they shouldn't. To me, music is Pro Tools. I see, think, operate Pro Tools as an extension of my hands, really. Yeah, you're not gonna get me away from Pro Tools, man. <laughs> <laughs>